Hi, uh, today we are going to put together the Wolf Princess Receptoscope. First thing you want to do is if your tray is wrapped, you want to make sure to check your wrapping to make sure there are no holes in it because that would be a contamination. Once you open your tray, look it over to make sure there are no, no other points of contamination. For instance, if you have a scope adapter, you do not want that scope adapter to be connected to your light post on your telescope, or you have these blue or these black and green buttons. You do not want them attached to your inflow sheaths. And then, if you can't find your scope adapter in your top tray, check your bottom tray and make sure that your scope adapter isn't connected into your light cord or for your light post adapter, you wanna make sure that that's not connected on to your light post. Once you see that your tray is good and not contaminated, you will take your scope adapter and your telescope and put that on. Next, you will take your black button. Your button has a little black button on it that would release your inflow scope, your inflow sheath. And you will put your black button onto your 21 French inflow sheath. Now the important thing to remember is if you are looking at it, your arrow will point down and your knob for it to be open, it'll point up. And if it is pointing towards you, it will be closed or off. So next you will take, also it has a black tip. Next you will take your outflow sheath, which also will be pointing down and it has holes in the tip. You will put your inflow sheath into your outflow sheath. Sometimes it can be a little bit tight. It will click into place. Now, if the doctors do not know what size loop they want to use, you can grab this piece, which is a viewing obturator. The black part will also be on top of that little nub and it should be able to push down. You can put your scope through there and it will click into place. There is a nub on the viewing obturator which will fit into the notch of the telescope. Once those are together, you can put the viewing obturator and telescope into the assembled inflow and outflow sheath. And it'll click into place as well. Now, again, both your inflow will point down and your outflow will point down. Once these are connected, the inflow and outflow can rotate because of that black button. So if they were just going to do a diagnostic hysteroscope, you can click on your light, your light cord, click on your camera, and they can take a look. Once they figure out what size loop they want to use, you can take everything out, take your telescope out of the inflow or the viewing obturator and the inflow and outflow. You can remove your viewing obturator, put it aside. Say if they want to use a black loop, you're gonna get your black loop from your circulator and put it aside. Get your working element, put your telescope through your working element, and then you will turn the metallic locking knob quarter of a turn and it'll lock into place. Then you will take your electrode and put it, guide it through the little hole on the working element and put it over, and guide it over the telescope, which can be a little tricky. It might take a second. Be very gentle because this blue part, the electrode can bend. This will click into place. So once it's seated correctly, you can um, 
um, put out and retract the loop. Now, once it's together, you can put the assembled working element telescope and electrode into the assembled inflow and outflow sheath, match the notch on the inflow and outflow button, that black button with the hole, or with the nub on the working element and it will click into place. Then you can connect your light cord. And then once they are ready to resect, you will get your bipolar cable. These are the sterile sides. This gray one will go to the metal notch on your working element or the metal pole, and the black one will go on the black pole. Now the end that is black with the blue dot will go off to your circulator. And then of course you have your inflow and outflow tubings on there as well. It should be used with fluid management. And then they are ready to recept. And same thing if they are doing the green, just follow it with the green setup. To take everything apart, you're gonna take off your black and gray bipolar pieces from the bipolar cable. You are going to pull back on the little black coupler on the light cord away from the post. You are going to press the black button on the inflow sheath to remove the assembled inflow and outflow from the working element and telescope. You're going to pull the black lever towards the back of the inflow sheath to remove the inflow sheath from the outflow sheath and put those aside. Then you're gonna press the black button on the working element to remove your electrode. You're going to turn the knob, the locking knob, on the working element to remove the telescope. And you are going to twist off the scope adapter from your telescope. And then you are going to put everything back nicely in the tray. All right, that is how you put together and take apart Wolf Princess Receptoscope.